Hey there, fellow divers, Ocean Pictures here. Let's take another look at the Universal Smartphone Dive Housing, made by Kraken Sports. Let's start off by looking at a few photos taken using my Samsung Galaxy S7 while I was diving in Thailand. I started out my trip using the Kraken app, and managed to score some gorgeous photos, but this took some considerable effort since there is no way to adjust the camera's exposure, ISO, or white balance. This forced me to use a lighting rig at the correct intensity, in order to achieve great pictures, which wasn't ideal. The Kraken app does take very good photos in general, especially when you use the manual focus mode. But the app crashes randomly. When that happens, the housing becomes useless during the dive because you lose all control over your phone. So the Kraken app is actually pretty terrible as a dive computer and marginal as a camera, since it doesn't calculate your node decompression time at depth and only gives you your current dive time plus your current depth. And with the bug in video mode that renders it completely useless for video, I would rate the Kraken app very poorly. But luckily, there's another app you can use with the housing to turn your phone into a dive computer, and I hear that it will become the official app for the housing in the near future. It is called Dive Plus, so let's look at that app. When you start up the Dive Plus app, which I believe is still currently in beta mode, you get this daily news feed feature on the home screen. Tapping the bottom center button with the mask and snorkel symbol on it takes you to diving mode. This requires your phone's Bluetooth to be turned on, and the app will prompt you if it isn't already. Now, you need your QR code. I found this QR code thing extremely annoying, because mine didn't come with the housing, so I had to print one off and tape it to the inside of my housing. I made a backup just in case, but I actually forgot to do this in Thailand, so I couldn't use the Dive Plus app on most of my dives. Luckily, I managed to print one off before the end of my trip, and could then test it on a bunch of dives at the Great Barrier Reef. But, before you go diving, scan that QR code and connect the dive housing to your phone. It helps if you actually put the batteries in. I remove these between every dive, as it is recommended by the user manual. This is to help prevent any surprises with batteries leaking, which might ruin the dive housing. Once you're connected, place your phone inside of the dive housing in the same way as usual, and don't forget to get a good vacuum seal. My first impressions of this app are very positive. I like the app quite a bit. It has a good, easy to understand user interface, and the best part is that it offers proper features of a dive computer. The Dive Plus app calculates your no decompression time at depth with the pro version of the housing, and displays it on the camera screen, along with your current depth and current dive time. The app even has an alarm that warns you when you reach your no decompression time limit and helps you out during your safety stop. As for this app working as a camera, I really like that it displays your no decompression limit, your current dive time, and your current depth right on the camera's viewfinder. Meaning, as you're taking photos and video, you can simultaneously check on your dive profile. And this is awesome. But for taking photos and video, I would rate this app pretty low, because so far it has extremely basic features. You have to rely on autofocus and can't set white balance, exposure, ISO limit, or anything. Basically, just point and click and hope you get something good. The app shoots okay video, but again, the lack of focus control, white balance, exposure, and ISO limit really detracts from the full potential of this housing. With respect to the screen, I'd like to see Kraken introduce a brightness slider to allow for changing the screen brightness underwater. And in terms of battery, it performs pretty good. I managed to get three dives on one charge of my phone. I do have a couple more comments about the dive computer features though. At present, there's no way to specify that you are using Nitrox, which would change how your no decompression limit is calculated. And there is no way to specify that you can go to 30 meters. The app sets off an alarm that vibrates the housing non-stop if you go deeper than 18 meters at this point, even if you set it up with the advanced open water profile. This is very annoying. I see great potential for this product if Kraken introduces a focus control slider, ISO limit controls, white balance controls, exposure controls, and shutter speed controls. If they also fix the depth alarm issue and allow for nitrox calculation, I would rate this product very high. As it stands, the housing gets a 3. This housing is extremely well built and very, very durable, but it lacks a good app to support the excellent hardware. So Kraken, fix up the issues I mentioned in this video, and I'll rate your housing a 5 out of 5. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.